Sir, this was just dropped in my lap. As I said to my supervisor, no, of course I can handle it, but I understand. You know an ADA named Larry Litvak? Uh, that nervous guy, right? Always looks like he's under the gun. More than we knew. Quit without notice yesterday. Boss divvied up his cases. Name Leonard Peeler ring a bell? That's a rape homicide. He's going back a ways. What's up? Jailhouse informant who said Peeler admitted the crime to him recanted. When did this happen? A couple of weeks ago. He's dying of AIDS, found God. Either way, his new statement got appellate counsel interested. They landed Peeler a DNA test, which came back negative. Peeler's DNA came back negative? From the DNA taken off the girl he was convicted of raping and killing. The old case of mine goes active and nobody advises me till now? Larry Litvak wasn't exactly crossing his T's. He just admitted himself into rehab. So what now then? There's a one o'clock hearing where I'm sure the defense is gonna push for a motion to dismiss the charges. And I'm still trying to familiarize myself with the case. It was a good collar and a jury convicted his ass. Circumstantial case though, no eyewitness. No. <clears throat> Look at, uh, if the DNA wasn't his, maybe he had an accomplice who he had never flipped on. Or maybe the girl had had sex with someone else earlier. She was 12. Well, I'm just saying, this isn't good. So you need to help me keep this case together. Otherwise, we're going to have to prove it again without the snitch and with DNA working against us. It was a good arrest. We had Peeler with the girl an hour before she was killed. His alibi didn't pan out or his timeline. OK. Here's a copy of the file. I need to get caught up. I'll see you at one. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. 